Uh, we're starting out with a temperature of 81 right now in Salt Lake, 61 in Logan, mid 50s currently in Park City. Uh, a lot of valleys are in the 70s, so uh, cloud cover trapping in the heat from yesterday, making for a very warm start. And we still have a few showers going, most of which are stretching from western uh, into northern Utah. Uh, with most of that along the Wasatch Front having let up other than a few sprinkles, mainly on the benches, some of that toward the south end of the Belt Route, and the heavy rain that was falling in Zion National Park is drifting off to the northeast. But even in areas where the precipitation has ended, uh, a lot of you will have to deal with some wet roads. Now, high pressure is still keeping it hot, but it's moved to the southeast of us, and that's allowing more of a southwesterly flow to develop. That pulls even more moisture in and brings another chance of showers and thunderstorms today across the majority of the state, although in the far north and uh, in the far west, kind of on the edge of where we're expecting those thunderstorms, uh, we might get gusty winds and not a lot in the way of rainfall, but any of the storms could potentially bring some heavy rain. The best chance of that will be over the southeast, mainly east of I-15 and uh, south of Highway 6. Now, Salt Lake City, we're forecasting 96, not quite as hot as yesterday, but still several degrees above normal for this time of year. Low 80s in Park City, 102 in St. George. In general, partly cloudy today. Morning sprinkles kind of taper off, and then this afternoon and evening we'll get a chance of isolated to scattered showers and thunderstorms. And again, any of those could potentially bring some heavy rain and gusty winds. So if you have outdoor plans, uh, make sure that uh, you've got some shelter nearby. St. George, you're going to be drying out tomorrow. It'll be sunny this weekend, hovering in the upper 90s, and it looks like the same thing on Monday for Independence Day. And for northern Utah, it'll be partly cloudy with a chance of more showers and thunderstorms tomorrow. Pretty much a repeat of today, but dry air moves in on Friday. It'll become sunny this weekend uh, with temperatures still hovering in the mid to upper 90s. In fact, on the 4th of July, sunny with a high of 94 degrees.